Hey, baby. You okay? Did you get to the hotel all right? Just got in the lobby. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. Missing you a bit. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, well, I feel a bit silly saying it. You've only been gone, what, six hours? I should be able to pull up with that without going all glum, shouldn't I? I'm a fully grown man, after all. <laughs> nah, it's not that bad. Not yet, anyway. Not really looking forward to going to bed without you. It's just been, you know, been a long time since we spent a night apart. I'm not used to it. Well, I just gotta keep telling myself that it's only two nights. Three days, two nights, and we'll be back together. As it should be. That's not so bad. I can handle that, I'm sure. You, uh... You think you'll be alright? <clears throat> yeah, of course. Sucks, doesn't it? But, hey... Just means we'll have a really great night together when you get back. Us both having missed each other. <laughs> it's going to be good to see you again. We'll have fun. Ah, oh, right, okay. You need to check in, don't you? Alright. Are you doing anything this evening? Any plans? Dinner and drinks with colleagues. Ah, oh, okay. Well then, I, I guess you might not get back to your room until pretty late. And I'll probably want to be asleep by then, so... I'll leave you to it. Don't want to keep you. We'll talk tomorrow, yeah? Oh, right. Yeah, well, with all that going on, I, I guess you'll be... pretty busy. Hmm. Well, if you have time, I, I hope I'll get to talk to you tomorrow. If not... No bother. Don't, um, don't feel like you have to rush things or miss out on anything with your colleagues on my account, okay? Yeah. Love you, baby. Talk soon. Hey, honey. I was just getting ready for bed, and I thought, well, I was thinking of you. I have a feeling this might be a long voice note. <laughs> Just not used to you being away from home. Put it on two times speed, maybe. Blast through it. <sighs> uh, I would have spent hours and hours talking to you if this was a regular day, you know? I mean, we talk a lot, all the time, when you're at home. And even though we've texted back and forth while you were on the way to the hotel today, it's just not the same. <laughs> I feel dumb. Silly. Because this is such a normal thing to go through, you know? It's just a business trip. You're only away for business. And I'm sure it's not going to be the last time you have to do this, now that you've got a more important role, so... I just need to get used to it. This is the first time I'm facing a night without you lying next to me since we got together. And that's kind of hard, right? God, I hope you feel the same way. I hope you miss me. I mean, not too much. I don't want you to be sad. I hope you're having... A nice time at that meal with your colleagues, and I don't want you to waste a lot of it thinking about me. Not too much, anyway. <laughs> Gotta strike the right balance. Ugh. Uh, I don't really know what to say next, but I just don't want to go. <laughs> I'm just lying in bed, wishing you were here. Oh, <laughs> uh... When I came upstairs earlier, I kind of forgot you weren't in the house for a moment, and because you weren't with me in the living room, I think my brain assumed that you must be in bed already, or something like that. So, when I opened the bedroom door, 
and you weren't there. <laughs> uh, it felt weird. Like, hmm. Uh, you know when you're climbing up the stairs in the dark and there's one less stair than you think? So, when you get to the top, you raise your leg for that last non-existent step but instead of landing on the solid floor, it falls through the air for what feels like forever. <laughs> well, if you know what I mean, that's that's what it felt like when you weren't there. My stomach jumped up into my throat for a moment. <laughs> I was so confused. Ah, oh, stupid. But it just made me miss you so much. When I was brushing my teeth, all I could think about was how you weren't going to be there when I climbed into bed. <sighs> um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to close my eyes and see if I can get some sleep now. I'm not too hopeful about it, but we'll see. Good night. Love you. Yeah. Hey. Me again. I really hope you have your phone on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> I don't... I don't want you to be waking up by a notification from me. Or... Hmm... Maybe I secretly do in my subconscious. Part of me would enjoy it if... Ah, no. I want you to have a good night's sleep more than I want to talk to you. It's a lot more important. Or, at the very least... I should pretend that I feel that way. <laughs> Seems pointless now I've admitted it, but whatever. <sighs> I hope you're sleeping well. And I hope you're dreaming of me. I want to dream of you, but... <laughs> gotta get to sleep first, and it's proving a challenge. <sighs> I just keep tossing and turning, rolling around in bed. My head's just too busy thinking about you, how I want to hold you at night, put my arm around your waist and pull you in close, feel you pressed against me. Maybe, maybe grinding a little, <laughs> but uh, I, I can't start thinking like that. I, I need to get to sleep. <sighs> There's just something about you being away that makes me even crazier for you than normal, though. All I want to do is touch you and kiss you. And <sighs> so many things. And I know that I'll be able to do all those things as soon as you get back in a couple of days, but... God... It's hard to wait. I'm impatient for you, you know. I, uh... <laughs> I was gonna say I hope you take this as a compliment and don't think I'm being too needy, but... Nah, I know you want to be wanted like this. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I know I should try to sleep again, but I feel like I'm only going to end up lying here awake for hours more. I'm going to try, though. I won't bother you again if I can possibly help it. <laughs> Talk to you in the morning, baby. Ugh. I overslept. So annoyed with myself. Now I've missed the chance this morning to actually talk to you. I guess you're hard at work now, right? So, you'll have to deal with more voice note spam. Thank you for replying to mine. Oh, thank you for actually listening to all of it. I wouldn't have blamed you if you'd skipped it. Don't think I've ever sent a voice note so long. I wonder what the world record is. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm glad you had a good time last night. Typical that you got home between me going to bed and picking my phone up at 2am. We might have had a chance to talk then as well. I feel like that's what this whole period of you being away is going to be like. 
us just constantly missing each other by a few minutes. Hmm. Waking up without you this morning was uh, grim, horrible, disgusting, putrid even. Thought you might like to hear that. <laughs> just in case you had any doubts about whether or not I'm missing you. Have I said it enough? You know this is stupid, but for a second I thought I might enjoy it. Having the house to myself for a few days, I mean, like, wake up whenever I want, do my morning at my own pace, come downstairs and have breakfast in my boxes without you calling me a silly little guy. For a moment, I thought it would be nice for, like, just a day. Ah, oh, fucking stupid idiot. Of course not. It's horrible. Nasty. <sighs> Who would have thought that waking up and not immediately seeing the person you love most in all the world isn't fun? <laughs> Who could have guessed that, huh? <sighs> anyway, I'm having coffee and a bit of toast. Coffee doesn't seem to be doing much to wake me up. This is my second cup and all. I think I probably got, like, three hours of sleep in the end. So, that's knackered me for the rest of the day, I reckon. No amount of caffeine is going to make me feel awake after a night like that. It'll just give me heart palpitations. <sighs> Don't really know what I'm going to do today. I took the days you're away off work because I thought I'd take the opportunity to do a bit of housework or something, but... Don't really know how I'm going to get the motivation together to do that. I guess it would be really nice for you to come home to a super clean, tidy house. I know you'd love that. So, for you, I'm going to do my best. Get this place licked into shape. I know I'll feel better for it too. Much better to do that than mope around doing nothing. In fact... Yeah, I'm going to finish this coffee and get started on that now. Take my mind off how much I miss you. Love you, baby. Whew. Okay, I'm feeling a little better. Or I was until I saw that I missed your call at lunchtime. Ugh, see, didn't I say that was going to happen this whole damn time? We'll just keep on missing each other. <sighs> I was, um... Uh, Doing some vacuuming when you called, I think. So, I didn't hear my phone. And now your lunch break's finished, right? So you probably won't be able to listen to this until this evening. God. <laughs> it's almost funny. <sighs> I feel like I'd have a better time communicating with you if I just made the hour-long drive to your hotel and left a note at the front desk every time I wanted to tell you something. At least that way there's a tiny chance we might bump into each other in the lobby. Anyway, um, oh, the house is looking really nice. Everything's back where it belongs. I've done a shitload of laundry, dusted and polished and vacuumed and mopped everywhere. I even got the carpet cleaner out and shampooed the stairs. I even cleaned the car. That's sparkling. I've really been in my sicko phase today. I hope, uh, I really hope you like it when you get back. I was doing it all for you. Actually, that's only partially true. I was also doing it because I just... I wanted to take my mind off missing you. I didn't want to have nothing but you to think about, you know what I mean? Needed to keep my mind occupied, otherwise I would have been a sad boy all day long. But now, I don't have anything left to do. I think if I cleaned this house anymore, the paint would start coming off the walls or I'd start wearing holes through the floor. <sighs> I guess I'll go again and try to think of something else to do to occupy myself. I should have dinner, actually. I forgot to have lunch because I was, like, so focused on cleaning. I haven't stopped all day. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to eat, but uh, whatever. Whatever I eat, it won't taste half as good as it would if you were eating it with me. Ah, I can't believe it. For God's sake. After eating, I 
I fell asleep on the sofa for a bit, and so I missed your call again. Fuck me. Anyway, I guess... Uh, I guess you've probably gone to bed. It's a little earlier than usual, but I don't blame you if you're tired from all the work you've been doing or whatever. Sounds like it's been an intense couple of days. I'm going to head upstairs and get ready for bed. Good night, if I don't talk to you again. I'm so glad tonight's the last night I'll have to spend without you. I love you. Hey, guess who's up at midnight? Unable to sleep again. I just can't take my mind off you. I'm so... I just miss you. Your body. The thought of... Thinking about what I want to do to you is driving me crazy. That's... <laughs> God. I don't even know what to say. Babe, I just want you so bad. Oh, shit. I didn't think you'd still be awake. I... I thought you wouldn't get any of this until the morning when you could just have a laugh about it. About how silly I'm being. But... I... Fuck it. I'm getting in the car. I know the hotel you're staying at. I'm coming. I know it's only one more night, but I don't want another night without you. I want to sleep next to you. I want to sleep with you. Fuck, I want more than that. I want you. I want your body. I'm coming. Hey. On the bed.